welcome into my channel we are just going through marathon ontario yeah we got about 397 kilometers to go up to south st marie where we met up with trucker josh a while back ago yeah yeah it looks like they got some snow over here overnight as well just like they did where uh, I slept overnight. We got some snow up there too. And, well, it looks like they're doing a pretty good job in cleaning up the snow. At least uh, Ontario is good for that. They're always got the snow plows out here and they're putting lots of salt out here and clearing the road and everything, you know. Yeah, we got a thousand kilometers left to go today. That's uh, that's about 620 miles And we got to drive yet and I already been driving for an hour. So Yeah, it's gonna be a long day today. That's for sure But we got to try and make her there Hopefully the weather will hold up if it doesn't snow anymore if it uh, stays the way it is right now, I'll be okay, but we'll have to see, I guess. Apparently the system is moving east, so I hope it's uh, far enough ahead of me that I don't run into it again tonight. Because I sure don't want it. Oh, well, here we go. We got a little bit of a bridge. Yeah, it was a bit tough there last night getting a parking spot there, but usually when I get there like 7, 8 o'clock at night, there's nobody there. And yesterday, I guess because of the snowstorm, they everybody decided to park there yesterday. So <laughs> I pretty much had to make my own parking spot there last night. Oh, well, we did it. That's all that matters. Nobody bothered me, so... We didn't get in, uh, into any kind of trouble, so it not really, wasn't really a truck stop, anyways. It's just sort of like a little tiny restaurant up there that that's, that allows the trucks to park there, you know. And that's pretty much what you get up here in Ontario, anyways. You know, you don't get a whole lot of truck stops up here. Oh, look at that! We got a snowplow coming down the road here right now. See, that's what I was telling you guys. They're they're trying to keep the roads in very good condition up here, the best they can, you know. They spend a lot of money keeping these roads clear. Anyways, what I was saying up here, in, uh, in, especially in Ontario here, there, you know, some some uh, cases you drive for, uh, let's say, for instance, between uh, Wawa and South St. Marie, that's about three, three and a half hour drive. And there's pretty much nothing in between there. You've got a few little towns, but no truck parking. A few pullouts, and that's about it. And most of these pullouts, they got signs that they don't want you to park there. It's made for the snowplows to, to make a U turn. That's just the way it goes up here in Ontario. You gotta, you know, you gotta uh, prepare your. Uh, your trip and you gotta plan ahead and make sure that you you know where you can stop that way you know when to use the bathroom and because otherwise you're gonna be stuck you know you're gonna have about three hours worth of driving and where you can't stop nowhere really I mean you can't pull over at those pullover areas but you got no washrooms up there you know yeah Looks like uh, it's a little bit cloudy up there, and I hope it's not going to snow, but you never know, right? Anyways, I hope we will have a good day, and we'll continue on, and see what the day will bring us, right? Well, here we go. We just had a little bit of a pit stop up here in uh, White River, Ontario. At the Robin Donuts, we grabbed ourselves a nice big cup of coffee. Now we're gonna put the hammer down again. Get out of here, you know. No more than I said earlier on the video there that uh, 
I was hoping that I wouldn't run into this crappy weather, right? No more than I finished saying that. It started ice raining. Yeah. I've been driving in the ice rain for the last hour, so and it's still drizzling. Oh well, nothing I can do about it, and I guess complaining ain't gonna do any good about it. So what we're gonna do is keep it professional and uh Take her easy and uh, we should arrive there safe and sound. That's the goal anyways. Now if that's gonna happen or not, we don't know, right? But we're gonna try our, our best to do that, right? That's right. Yeah, it's a little tiny town. They don't, you know, you, bear, you blink and you miss it pretty much, you know? Pretty much going out of Wawa, I mean uh, White River already. We got about 90 kilometers up to uh, Wawa, Ontario. And that's the last truck stop or whatever you want to call it. The last town really before Sault Ste. Marie. There pretty much ain't nothing after that, so. Anyways, we will put the hammer down. I am just coming through Wawa, Ontario. This is uh, where I was parked, right here on the side, of the, on the service road right here, is where I was parked uh, a couple of videos, uh, well, I guess two weeks ago or something like that, maybe three weeks ago. Yeah, when, uh, when I was showing you guys that the highway was shut down and uh, I called the video, this is what I call a whiteout situation. And the highway was shut down right here. Yeah, that was the video. And it's still snowing up here or ice raining or whatever you want to call it. So it's 226 kilometers to South St. Marie. Yeah, now we're getting into the hilly stuff. The real heavy hilly stuff. Almost to the point where it's mountains. Yeah. See how the monks will behave today. Oh, you tell me, isn't that beautiful? We got the lake right here to the right, coming down the hills, you know. Got all the ice forms built up there and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, I just finished fueling up here in South St. Marie at the uh, Fly and J. Well, it's more of a card lock flying jet. That's actually a, a shop over there, you know. But I figured I'd show you this mess that I've been driving in. I mean, look at my truck. I already cleaned the lights up here. Well, look at this. You barely can't even see my license plate. It's all covered in ice, you know. Clean the lights up here, but this is all ice from yesterday still. Looks like about a half an inch of ice on the bumper still you know i mean look at up there you know everything is it's a mess down here it's i was gonna wash my truck when i was at home but uh, i didn't even do that look at all the salt that has been built up here on my muffler just from driving in ontario you know look at that that's just a mess that ain't pooty, I guarantee you that. And that's no good for the truck either, you know? Ah. Anyways, we're gonna get going here. Let's just take a look at this beautiful truck up here. Isn't that beautiful, beautiful, gorge, gorgeous? I mean, look at that color. That's a nice uh, pink and red color that they got up there. Now oh, this guy, he's got uh, some wire with him, it looks like. But uh, anyways, we are at the Husky truck stop right now and I'm just walking in. Yep, this is in South St. Marie Husky truck stop. And this is the truck stop where I uh, ran into trucker Josh. And I'm going to show you the spot where I ran into him. Yep, here we go. You want to go inside? Good. How are you doing? Uh, wonderful day, thank All you. All right. All right, this right here at the corner, exactly right here. This is the spot, right here, where I was talking to uh, Trucker Josh, hey? Just close your eyes and imagine that. Uh, 
meaning up with your famous YouTuber. Could be me, could be Trapper Jukebox, could be Trapper Josh. Just imagine, huh? look at these nice huskies that they got up here. Yeah, anyways, I'll go use the bathroom and do some stuff and then we'll be back. Alrighty, here we go. We are gonna try and get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, this is the truck stop where I met Trucker Josh a while back ago and I just figured I would uh, show you guys a little bit on uh, the exact spot where we met up. Fortunately, we weren't able to uh, make a video. He was uh, didn't seem to be interested in doing that, but I got pretty excited to meet with him, you know? I, I don't know about you guys, but for me, if I meet another uh, YouTuber, I get pretty excited and I want to get a video done, you know? But unfortunately, he didn't want to, so... But whatever, that's okay. Maybe next time. But here we are. Gonna go back on the road. It's pretty slushy out here. I bought me more windshield washer fluid. Fill the tank back up so we have lots of windshield washer fluid now. We should be good to go. Yep. Well, it's been a good day for me. Had a bit of a talk with dispatch today. He uh, he offered me a load offer that's going back to uh, Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, and uh, he wants to have that load there for uh, Sunday at 4 p.m. And I told him all. Well, I don't think that I would be able to pull that off, at least not legally. And uh, same like he uh, he had a, a tough week out here in Toronto area. And I'm only an hour away from Toronto, right? Where I deliver tomorrow. And uh, Speed limit so he to told me, he, uh, you know, he had a rough week. Uh, it saying it was a disaster up here in Toronto. And I told him, I said, uh, I'm not trying to make it hard on you. I'm just telling you the truth, you know. I, you know, I don't think I could do it legally and that's, you know, the way it's going to be because I can't drive illegal. That's against the law. So, uh, finally he calmed down and he said, well, when can you be there? And I said, well, I, I could probably be there Monday. Probably Monday mid-morning. So, we'll see. In I think meters, I'll still be doing that off, road as far as I know. Circle tour, Highway 17. But... I won't get there on time the way they want it. Turn left on. Uh, if left I think it, circle uh, it sounds like Highway he doesn't 17. have anybody else up there in Toronto that can do that. So, we will do it. I just won't get there on time. At least the time that they want there. I will get there when I get there. But That's all. Well, we just had ourselves a little bit of a... Uh, Pit stop up here in Sudbury, Ontario. Just washed the windows and cleaned the headlights and all that fun stuff. Now we are going to try and get out of here. Yeah. We got at least another three and a half hours to go or three and a quarter hours at least. Because we, uh, we got 294 kilometers to go yet. So, uh, we got to do some miles yet, that's for sure. But it's getting dark outside, so I figured I would uh, clean my uh, side windows and my windshield and my mirrors and headlights and all that fun stuff and put more windshield washer fluid in and we would get back on the road. So, we have to pretty much because we got to be there for tomorrow 8 a.m. Yep, you got it. Oh, uh, well, we'll get uh, get going here and then uh, we'll see you on the other side. Well, here we are. I'm at the Walmart. I don't know if you'll be able to see it down there, but uh, hey, I'm parked over here. Look at all the snow we got here on the parking lot. 
Hey, I'm going to try and stay on this side of the truck because uh, the other side is pretty windy up there. It's got nice lighting up here, snowing a little bit. I got to deliver here tomorrow morning just around the corner. And we got the Highway 401 right over there. Yeah, you see the traffic go by right there. And uh, so we're just off of the Highway 401. But anyways guys, I am done. We are calling it a day. So we will see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m. So thanks for watching.